The cheaters in Final Fantasy XIV have gone way too far, but this time, it's in PvP. Specifically, Crystalline Conflict. A player was trying to climb their ranks with 1,600 people watching. And, uh, of course, they were using hacks, uh, trying to climb the ranks. Anyways, let's just watch the video. Alright, here's the tweet. They're flying right from the start, which is pretty incredible. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Alright, start of the match. <laughs> they're about to carry these people to victory, huh? Oh, they're out of the thing before the- Okay, dude. They're hacking before the game even starts? Are you- The game hasn't even started yet, they're leaving the thing and going under the ground? Alright. It's- Are they- It's like they're trying to get banned, dude. I swear, there's no way they're not trying to get banned. That was just in plain sight. You know it'd be funny? It'd be funny if he didn't win the match. I mean, odds are good that they don't die. Yeah, what do you even do in this situation? You'd be so confused if you're on the other team. I feel like I've seen enough, dude. I wonder if his teammates know that he's down there. Probably not. I mean, they probably are wondering where they, where the player is. The fact that the crystal hasn't moved very much at all, and we're already a minute 30 in, is actually pretty remarkable. <clears throat> Goes for the ults. Actually, they didn't, even, they didn't even last hit him, dude. They didn't even last hit. This is horribly... You'd be horribly confused. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Ah, okay, they're winning. Over time. Is it okay he's flying now? Alright. Dude, I want to see the comments on this too. Had to have to give it to him. He made CC look more boring than it already is. Yeah, I think Crystalline Conflict's actually pretty fun. Best 14 content I've seen in years. Dude, people kind of love it. Our King, W. I know they're kind of being ironic here, but... GOAT! We are so back! Dude, I love how people love it. That's actually pretty funny. Now that's some real gameplay. Legendary. The most entertaining 14 stream I've seen in months? <laughs> That's so interesting. Finally, quality gameplay. Our leader, my king. Dude, people are loving it, dude. People are loving it. That's so that's so funny, dude. Now this is some real PvP gameplay, dude. There's huh. People love it. Alright, guys, this is this is what they can do. Hear me out. There's a few things Queenies can do if if they want to fix this problem. I have a few ideas. First of all, I think they just put up some simple hack detection. They detect if, if they're out of bounds, if the player's out of bounds, if they're moving uh, at an insane speed, I feel like it would be very easy to detect. Um, we had that in Minecraft back in like 2011. Our, our servers could detect that kind of stuff. I think also in PvP, this is very noticeable where like a lot of the calculations are done client side. And you especially see this if you're doing rival wings. If you queue up for rival wings and you play and you've worked in tech like me, you'll know, you'll easily recognize that the calculations done from the mechs are definitely done client side. Like if, if you're playing against a brute justice and they cast mega beam, most of the time you dodge it, you're out of the area of effect. But when it goes off, you still you still die. And the reason why that is, is because the calculation starts client side on the brute justice player's screen they see that you're still in the area even though on your screen you left but on their screen it has to go to the server your position has to go to the server and then the server says okay well on their screen they were still in the area of effect so on your side the infantry you're dead and i think maybe there's just a couple engineering problems that the game's having but squeenix you know they're just a small indie studio <laughs> They're just a small indie studio, dude. Like, how much, how much more work can they do to their game?